All right, I'm going to walk you through how to create with the sequencer. So we're going to make a trap beat. So let's slide over to the sequencer page. And we can just create a whole beat just strictly from here. So right now, the view that you see is the drums, is your 10 pads. So it's your drums that you see. And we can go menu, and we can switch over to the sampler. So you got six tracks on the samplers. Right now, we are seeing sampler one, the first track. And as you see, we got six. So this would be the piano roll that we have. So we'll switch back over to the drums. And you know what? Let's add let's add some. Let's add a kick. Um, actually, you know what? Let's go press on hat, right? And then generate note. Whoops. Press the wrong thing. Delete. Press hat and just click generate note right there. Press the kick. Let's hear that. All right, so we got something just simple. We can go back to the hat, and let's say we want to add a roll right here. So we click on that note on beat three, go up to edit, and edit you have pitch, dotted, reverse, roll one, roll two. So these will give you like your rolls, your hat rolls that you want. So let's play it. So as you can see, we got the hat rolls popping off. Let's do put another one right there. Let's do let's do uh, roll one. So all right, let's put one more there, and then we'll pitch it down. So we go edit. Let's go roll two, and then let's actually click it again. Go to edit. Go to pitch. We want this to sound like that. So let's play it. Simple. All right. So go to kick. We can generate a note and just play it. So let's put in some put in some snares. Let's zoom in. Hope we can keep going. Actually, you know what we can do? Let's go ahead and delete this. Click your selection tool. Select all that. And just delete it. So what we're going to do is we're going to just paste it. to make this easy for ourselves. So what we got? Probably need one more right here. And then let's selection tool. Let's select all of this. And let's press duplicate. Boom. So we just duplicated everything. All right, so that's one easy way that you can do it. And all you got to do is just plug in your notes from here on, right? So um, another way that you can do it is we have our quantize. So we can switch the scale, the grid up to, let's say, let's zoom in. So we switched it up to 132nd. And now we have these, we can plug in. You can plug in our own rows like that if you if you prefer to edit that way. All right. So another thing that we have here, you know, if you want to have if you want to have it not so computerized, we can click the grid off and drag our snare back just a little bit just to give it that kind of off, you know, for the snare. All right, so you can do that. And also, we can just clear each row if we would like. So clear the rows. Or if you <laughs> if you prefer, we can just you can clear the whole pattern by going to the settings and press delete. And do we want to delete instruments and the drums? Yeah. We're just going to delete everything. So close. Everything's gone. So now, what we can do is let's slow it down 
we at 124 well that's fine we can stay at 124 we can just generate a pattern out the blue now this is just to help you get started it's not made to like <laughs> create the pattern for you and that's it maybe if you like let's switch that up so I kind of like it when we go let's do like 86 like hip-hop um, let's just generate a new pattern and see so now we have like something just to start off with and we can always like you know just get a quick idea, kind of tweak it a little bit, delete some stuff that we don't like. You know? Alright, so now that we got that, let's move over to the sampler. And what do we have here? We have some phrases on the sampler. I would like to pull in some chords. So now we're going to go to the piano roll for the sampler. Go ahead and extend our notes. So now there we go. So what we can do, let's just duplicate this real fast. Duplicate. Yeah, and let's duplicate it again. Try to get something going. Uh, bring that over. All right. So what we can do, we can probably duplicate it again. Let me see. Okay, let's go ahead and make this longer. I want to extend that. Um, to right there. Actually, let's thin it all away. And then we can duplicate, we can select it, duplicate it, and let's see how this thing turns out. Okay, so I wanted this to go right here. Boom. You kind of get the idea then you can go ahead and, and just really dig in and you know just like a regular piano roll so it's pretty much the high level of how you can create with, with the sequencer catch you in the next tutorial peace out